Hello and welcome back to Monochroma on Indie Summer. It's not a very summery game, but, you know, summer-like game? I don't care. I don't care. We've seen this part. I backtracked a little bit because I was saving it. And, as you know, checkpoints happen every other year, so... You know, just gotta... Just gotta keep going. I'm joking, though. There's quite a bit of checkpoints. Oh, it's a robot eye. It's dead. It's actually pretty good checkpoints on this game. I mean, I'm still a big proponent of manual saving. I really enjoy being able to save myself, but... But yeah, checkpoint saving is a big thing. And I do understand that there are some games that really do need checkpoints. So, I'm not going to be like, oh, we don't need checkpoints at all. Yes, there is a true need for checkpoints at right parts and right games. Oh, come on. Come on. I don't know. Actually, if I'm going to be really honest, I enjoy checkpoints in the right games. Because, I don't know, like puzzle games, like this one, you want to be able to save where on the p places you want to save. Because if you can't, then you kind of lose a little bit of that precision and... Many times, puzzle games, you have to repeat a lot. A lot. Because you mess up one little part, and you have to redo the whole thing. And I guess... It's... Fair to say... That, oh... Did I mess this up? <laughs> No, I didn't. I did not mess this up. Everything is fine. There we go. That's how everything is fine. Ba boom! That's how you do it. That's how you do it, guys. You know what? I just thought about the thoughts I just had right now. And I love checkpoints. <laughs> I'm just changing my mind about checkpoints. Checkpoints are the single most useful thing ever. And I would not be able to live without checkpoints. That's my final verdict. I do not mind manual saves, but I love checkpoints. It's a whole 180 on that. Uh, I just hadn't thought about it a lot. But yes, checkpoints are essential to our lives. Our lives need checkpoints. Without them, we would be lost. Yes, we would, Rods. Yes, we would. <laughs> oh, man. That, Rods. Please don't run me over, train. Please don't run me over. I'm asking nicely. Please don't run me over. <laughs> Why am I on the tracks? This is not smart. This is the opposite of smart. This is dumb. No, I don't want to die. Oh no! <laughs> it's coming! This stupid train is coming. I'm gonna die now. Ah. Oh, different place. Okay, I'm fine. Oh, oh. Dude, these kids, what's up with them? They're just going around and going to crazy places. Why don't they just go back home? Or is there no more home for them? Are they lost forever? Jeez. Tone down on the music. light here so we know what that means. 
Oh man. <laughs> the music is getting really awesome. I... <laughs> this is pretty cool music. This is pretty cool. Come on, kid. This is really good music. Whoever... Whoever's composing for this game... This is beautiful music. I love when music do these type of things. Well, I just like songs with um, any sort of um, percussion. That's the name, right? I hope I'm not messing this up. Because if I'm calling strings percussion or whatever, you know, the ones you blow on. <laughs> I feel that like every other thing I'm saying on this episode is just dirty. Not what I mean, but you know. Yay, it's a boat! Let's go. Yeah. I get to lay back a little bit. Lay back and relax. This is pretty nice. Finally shielded from the rain. still going under the bridge, right? The things these two kids have. They have access to boats. I mean, they're just finding the boats. But what about the guy that left the boat there? You know? What about that guy? Is he like, Hey, where's my boat? I need my boat! What's up with them? You know? Alright, gotta leave the kid here. Puzzle time! Puzzle time. Puzzle time. Dun 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 dun. Puzzle time. Puzzle time. What's happening? I can't see anything. Oh. kiddo. I can't seem to see what's happening. And I am really confused. Uh, you know, that's the only thing about this game is that I put the settings on max brightness. You guys can't notice it because I, I changed it for you guys. Yeah, so the setting is on max brightness, and I still can't see anything. You know, this, this is a problem. This is an actual problem. Because if I can't see anything, how am I supposed to play it? And it might be just a problem with my version of the game. But still. And that's the only thing. Because this is a really enjoyable game with really enjoyable puzzles. And, you know, it's it's got me intrigued. What's up with the story of these two brothers? What's up with them? You know? So, I want to know more. Alright, and we need to go to this one. It needs to be away from me too. Uh. Hmm. 
Maybe out here. I don't know. But I'll keep trying. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.